for our first day, we went and explored Jarash. In Jarash, it has one of the world's most well-preserved ancient Roman architecture standing. We walked through the downtown market and then stopped and had a couple different drinks along the way. This one is the sugar cane juice that they make, as you can see. Then we also had a, some fruit smoothies and a couple other things. We did a cooking class at Bait City, which translates to my grandmother's kitchen, where we learned to cook some super yummy traditional Jordanian food. Guys, it was seriously the cutest place ever. The next day we hiked through Wadi Mujib, which is a canyon that is filled with water that you can float down. It wasn't very full whenever we were there, so we couldn't float very well. Um, but then you climb, there's a waterfall at the end of the hike, and it was really a fun experience in my opinion. The next place that we went was the Dead Sea, which was super high on my bucket list. It's the lowest elevation on earth and the concentration of the water is so salty that you just float on top. Like you can see that little guy back there behind me and then they have the mud from the Dead Sea that you can just rub all over you and it's supposed to be really good for your skin. Our first time to the treasury at Petra was for their night show. Hashtag Petra by night for my girlies on the trip. Um, it is a light show that they put on three times a week. It's lit with over 1,500 candles. And it's just very magical to see it at night underneath the stars. The next morning we went back to the treasury and got to see it during the day. Petra is one of the seven wonders of the world and I was very excited to add another one to my list.
After climbing roughly 850 steps, we made it to the monastery, which is actually the largest monument in Petra. It's lesser known because of the hike you have to do to get there, and not as many people go there, so there's less people around, which was nice to experience it that way. I can't take this seriously. <laughs> okay, hope you guys are low. <laughs> For the next part of our trip, we checked into the bubble tents in the Wadi Rum Desert. They say that Wadi Rum is what Mars would look like, and there's been several movies shot here. We did a desert safari, we tried some tea, we rode camels, and then we drank wine underneath the stars. I started our stay off in the Red Sea with a massage at our resort which overlooked the Red Sea and had beautiful views and I was so ready for it at that point. And then the next day we went scuba diving which I have grown to love very much and think that everybody should at least do a discovery dive and see if it's for you but is definitely for me. stayed at the St. Regis which is super stunning and so lovely and I got one last final massage because massages are my favorite and that was my trip to Jordan.